Saint Robin Hermit, whose name means brave monk, was born in the mid 6th to early 7th century in Gundishapur, Persia, or modern day Iran, to his parents, Thekla and Joseph, a faithful, wealthy, and devout family who often indulged in fasting, prayer, and almsgiving. At the age of 12, the Holy Hermes went into school to learn more about the faith in order to deepen his worship and relationship with God. Taking a class of religious science and studies with a specialty in the Holy Bible, pursuing this out of love for the divine text. Not satisfied with the world and feeling a divine call, at the age of 18, the young saint departed from his home, heading towards Gedes, Egypt, a center for early monasticism, looking to become a monk there. While on his travels towards Egypt, he encountered three monks belonging to the Church of the East, who resided in the Bar Ita Monastery, and in seeing his great zeal, urged and convinced him to become a monk with them at the Bar Ita Monastery. He spent a majority of his life there, nearly forty years. He lived a very harsh life in the monastery, meditating and praying constantly with the sole goal of getting as close to God as possible and communicating with him. He lived as a novice in the monastery for six years, until his abbot asked him to conduct his studies as a hermit in solitude, in order to grow more virtuous. And in holy obedience, the monk accepted. For around 30 years, the holy monk lived in a cave situated near the Bar Eta Monastery, where he would reside for a few years in the future. Later in his monastic life, he decided to take a journey with a group of monks to Dera Bar Abe, where they settled for a while, and in Der Derisha, where they settled as well. The monks stayed at that monastery until they were forced to leave because the fountain of water belonging to the monastery had run dry. They decided to go into separate groups and search for a place fit for meditation, coming closer to God and achieving sanctity. The saint had decided to settle in the mountains of El Kosh, where with great joy the Chaldean inhabitants received him and built him a monastery as a welcoming gift, now known as the Rabban Hermes Monastery, where he spent the rest of his life. During a part of his life in the monastery, he opposed the Th Syriac Orthodox monks of Mar Mete Monastery, who were charged with a moral life and idolatry. The message of his sanctity spread quickly, earning him fame in the surrounding region of El Qosh. Many of the lame, possessed, or lay believers came to the holy monk, asking for his blessings, healings, and exorcism, all of whom were cured of their ailments, blessed, or even risen from the dead by the holy monk. News of his healing power even reached the mayor of Nineveh, whose son was severely ill, nearing death, and who no doctor could cure. In despair, the doctors recommended to the mayor to bring his son to the saintly Rabban Hermes. With no other hope, the mayor did so, bringing his son to El Khosh. On the way there, the mayor's son died, but the people of El Khosh insisted on the mayor continuing the journey, convinced that he would be raised from the dead as has happened in the past with others. And as the people expected, St. Robin Hermes raised him from the dead, and the news of him restoring life to many spread, causing the mass praise of the all-loving God among all people. Even the mayor of Nineveh and, of his, son, and his son praised the all-loving God, who were Muslim. After 22 years, Ma Robin Hermes died at the age of 87 in sanctity, 
leaving the monastery and the many holy monks behind as a legacy. The monastery still stands today in El Khosh. May the prayers of St. Robin Hermes, the brave monk, be with us all. Amen.